If you're looking for a middle ground RV between a bare bones minivan camper and an expensive Class B, then we suggest taking a look at the models based on VW Transporter, Ford Nugget, Mercedes Vito and the like. Today we'll explore the newcomers within this category of campers that drive like normal passenger cars, but are rich on amenities and comforts. So subscribe to Must See Tech, join our community of RV enthusiasts and let's roll! Ford Transit Custom Nugget The Transit Custom entered a new generation just last year, so it's only natural that its camper version follows suit for 2024. Now sharing its chassis with the VW Transporter, it boasts an independent rear suspension and an optional all-wheel drive, elevating its performance. The Nugget's engine portfolio is diversified, adding a new plug-in hybrid powertrain with 230 horsepower and 20 miles of electric range. The camper side of the Nugget was crafted in collaboration with Westphalia, so it comes fully equipped for your comfort. It fits an L-shaped kitchen with a 33-liter fridge and a sink and has a rear-mounted shower outlet with hot and cold water. It's still true features a self-folding fabric and can be optioned with solar panels. Other noteworthy equipment includes roller blackout blinds, integrated storage for outdoor gear, double beds, rotating captain's chairs and a three-seat bench with optional heating, USB-C ports and speakers. Volkswagen California Over the years, VW offered different versions of the California camper, from the larger, crafter-based models to smaller, caddy-based ones. The mid-range California was built on the transporter, but starting from this year, it is moving to the multivan platform. This means a new engine portfolio that for the first time includes a plug-in hybrid option. It pairs a 1.4-liter four-cylinder engine with an electric motor, and a 13 kilowatt hour battery for 31 electric miles and 221 horses of output. The new Gen California grows in size across all dimensions and offers more space inside. The van wears a striking tritone color scheme and adopts a pop up roof that creates a 6.5 feet ceiling inside and accommodates two people. The camper follows a three zone space organization concept. The first outside zone revolves around the van's side door that allows easy access into the cabin and has a sun awning above. Next is the cabin zone that keeps everyday practicality with individual seats that can be swiveled to create a dinette area. And finally, the left-hand side of the van fits a kitchen and a second sliding door, allowing to cook both inside and outside. Citroën Type Holidays Citroën fans will immediately recognize the iconic exterior derived from the Type H panel vans, which were produced by the brands for nearly five decades, starting from 1947. Here we have heavily ribbed grey body parts, a squared front end with an old-school grille, circular headlights and steel wheels. The retro vibes, however, end immediately once you step inside, where the holidays concept benefits from the practicality of a modern space tour platform. The two rear seats fold down, creating a sleeping platform for two, while additional sleeping accommodation is granted by a pop-up roof. In the center there is a kitchenette with a fridge, sink, a cooking area, as well as a folding table. The latter, coupled with front swiveling seats, creates a dinette for four people. Citroën added the second sliding door on the left side, allowing access to the kitchen from the outside. The rear seats can be removed completely for more interior space. The French mentioned that the concept is equipped with Webesto heating and the press release photos clearly demonstrate the presence of a basic electric package, but as for the other specifics, those remain unknown. Abt XNH Volkswagen Abt are not exactly known for their camper expertise and they're actually world famous for motor racing and production auto tuning. In 2023, the company is leaving its comfort zone by releasing the first Abt brand camper van. The limited 500 unit XNH builds on the Transporter T6.1, but gives the latter a 15.7 inch wheelbase stretch. The camper rolls on 18 inch gloss black wheels with Goodyear Eagle F1 tires. It has beautiful topographical lines graphics 
and gets an arrow-enhancing bodywork package from Apt. The roof of the XNH pops, adding to the interior height. Its rear fits a bicycle carrier, and the passenger side comes equipped with Omnistore 4200's premium awning from Thule. Inside, the rear seat bench converts into a bed, and the second bed can be lowered from the pop-up roof. The van also gets two kitchens, the main one with a fridge and an induction cooktop, plus the exterior gas stove setup accessible from the tailgate. Evanche. This Dutch company made a name for itself converting VW transporters, but now it is expanding its camper range with an all-electric offering. This time, Vanje applied their distinctive layout to the ID bus. Like in the original IC Vanje, the electric iteration gets the same innovative sleeping and seating areas. By sliding the front seats forwards and moving the cushions, you can quickly transform the layout, switching between the L-shaped sofa lounge, a four-seater dining area with a table, or a 55-inch wide bed. Another distinctive feature of every Vanche is its rear kitchen, which stretches the entire width of the van. The kitchen can be accessed from both sides and is equipped with an induction cooktop, a sink with a side faucet, and multiple drawers designed to slide both inward or outward. One of the drawers stores two chairs and a large table, which you can use outside and top with cushions from the inside. Optionally, the Dutch can add a pop-up sleeper roof and solar panels. The Evanje only comes with the front seats for two travelers, but the company confirmed that they're already working on the option that adds rear belted seats. Tonki EQV eCamper Presented in 2022, Tonki EQV was one of the best electric models of last year, and now it is getting even better with a more versatile model lineup. The camper now offers three trim levels, Adventure, Nomad and Touring, suitable for four to six passengers. Its two- or three-seater rear bench converts into a bed, plus a pop-up roof houses a second bed. All models feature modular interior, allowing you to carry bicycles or other camping gear in sight. The layouts include a kitchen that is either located at the side or at the rear. In case of the newly introduced Nomad, there is also an available tailgate drawer system that can store a 31-liter fridge, extra gear and camping equipment. The Touring model is completely gas-free since it features a 3kW inverter and an induction cooktop. The camper keeps all the Mercedes tech advantages, including a 10.3-inch MBUX infotainment, Burmaster audio, 360-degree camera and a 100kWh battery pack, promising up to 248 miles of expeditioning. If you want us to cover more examples of affordable camper vents, then make sure to smash the like button. Let's proceed. Off-Track T6 Expedition Looking to offer the multi-purpose utility of the VW California, this camper conversion by the German Off-Track spurses up the traditional small van layout and offers a very stylish and cozy cabin. Depending on the buyer's preferences and budget, the Expedition can be based on a used T6 van or an all-new T6.1 model. Its floor plan includes a driver's side kitchen featuring a gas or an induction cooktop, a folding rear bed and a removable dining table. The company opted for a natural wood cabinetry made from birch and oak that can be painted in black, grey, white or neutral colors. The cabinetry is paired with wood elements, creating a lofty modern look. Optional equipment includes a pop-up sleeper roof for two, heating, a portable toilet and an outdoor shower. According to the company, the expedition gets a 100 ampere hour battery and can remain self-sustainable for five days and in terms of your electrical needs, can remain self-sustainable for five days. Unfortunately, it carries only 15 liters of water, so you will have to add extra water storage or stop frequently to refill the tank. SCA X Glue Ever since the introduction of the Hymer Vision concept, inflatable roofs have been slowly conquering the RV market due to their improved sound and temperature insulation qualities. This new pop-top van is a conclusion of a successful collaboration between two German enterprises. X Glue has been working with inflatable tents and structures since 2007, 
while SCA specialized on conversions of VW transporters and Mercedes Sprinter vans of the older generations. Rather than being raced manually or electrically with struts, with a single push of a button and in just two minutes, the roof of the van inflates into an open position using an air compressor. The 3D Tech textile from Exclo is specifically engineered to form a robust structure and can be easily repaired in case of minor damages. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Before you go, smash the like button and let us know what topics would you like us to cover in the upcoming episodes. Leave your suggestions in the comments below. Subscribe to Must See Tech not to miss those new releases and ring the bell to get notified. More informative RVing content is displayed on the screen. Just follow the links and keep on camping.